stop clapping, calm down, everybody calm down because uh, uh, I'm not particularly happy to be here. Uh, I have to say I'm going to come across, for the next few minutes, I'm going to come across as a bit of a whinging pom. I would love not to, but I can't help it. I can't get the hang of your Australian sense of humour. Uh, it's freaking me out a, li a little bit because I was, I mean, you must understand, I was looking forward to this trip. I was excited. I was coming over from Wales, I, I bought new clothes, a new outfit, new shorts, t-shirt, sunglasses, I had to go to bloody France for those. <laughs> I was excited, I bought myself a suitcase, a nice new, a posh suitcase with wheels, I'd always had a backpack, this was a first time for me and then, then I flew to Australia. Yes. This is what arrived. <laughs> Exactly, I knew you'd laugh. You see, this is, this is not funny. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. Oh, look, look where some hilarious Australian baggage handlers put a sticker on there. Bend your knees. Heavy. <laughs> Very funny, my thought. 22 kilos of stuff I lost, apparently, according to that sticker. <laughs> listen, it's not for... Listen, oh, listen, I'll admit, I'll admit, if I'm completely honest, the first three times this went round the baggage carousel, I laughed as well. <laughs> the first three times I laughed, right? Everybody was laughing. The whole airport, was, fair enough. Everybody were, and, they, and then everybody asked. They went home. <laughs> it was just me and this. I thought I'd know what to do. I, I thought I'll sort this out. I'll sort this out. I'll take this over to the desk, I thought. I didn't hear. There's an Austra typical Australian girl on the desk. She says, what seems to be the problem? I said, mainly it's about my luggage. She said, is that not it? I said, this is some of it. Hey, don't get me wrong, I'm thrilled to get this back. The thing is, I'm here for two months. I'm pretty sure I packed more than this. <laughs> this is what you like, you find this kind of thing for... And then she starts asking me those questions. You get these questions everywhere. I know. There was no need for it. No need... She said, could anybody have interfered with it? I said, we probably shouldn't rule that out. She said, well, have you left it unattended at any point? I said, I suppose I must have. I'm not the most observant person in the world, but if this had happened while I was wheeling it through the airport, I think I'd have noticed. Surely it would have got very light very quickly. She said, did you pack it yourself? I said, why? What are you suggesting? Somebody else packed for me and thought this is all I'd need. Clapping her, I know what you're doing. She said we must do a report. I thought, good, good, let's do a bloody report. Let's do it, good. I thought it was all going quite well until question three. I said, does your luggage have any distinguishing features, Mr. Gilbert? I said it's got a long black handle. If that's any else, she wrote that down. I love you already. Thank you very much. Good night.